So again, as we discussed, guys, there's many different ways. We could do 45 minus 60, 30 minus 45, negative 60 plus 45, negative 45 plus 30. Um, and again, there's not one run right way or, or not. But, and typically I will let you guys know, I'm not gonna ask you guys to break these up. Typically I will give them to you already broken up. You just need to be able to uh, apply the um, formula. So I'm writing this as 30 degrees minus 45 degrees, okay? So we can see that we have the sign of the difference of two angles, right? We know from radicals, which I erased, I apologize for that, but that does not equal the sine of 30 degrees you know, minus the sine of 45 degrees, right? We just discussed this with the radicals, yes? So don't do that. Even how frustrated and stressed out you can be on your test, don't resort to that. We have a formula for it. And the formula is based on our two angles, at least u and v. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to label these u and v. All right, and for the first one, I'll just do this very elementary. And then from now on, after this, we'll just kind of, um, you know, we'll skip this step. But remember, guys, the sum and difference of two angles for u minus v is sine of u times cosine of, is it u? I forget. I, no, it's sine of u times cosine of v. It's been a while. It's been a year. Um, and then that's going to be minus the sine of v times cosine of u, right? Now, cosine of u times sine of v. OK, well, either way. Doesn't really matter for those two. <sighs> Make sure you get a good tail on your u so you don't mix it up with your v. All right, so now, guys, I have my u and I have my v. Now I'm just really just going to substitute everything in. Again, you don't need to show this step. I'm just doing it so you guys can kind of see. But I mean, we're just going to do sine of 30 degrees times the cosine of 45 degrees. Now be careful, guys. Again, it's u minus v. Like, think of these as like in parentheses. So v is not negative. It's u minus v, so you use that formula, right? Yes? Yeah. So just be very careful with that. So that's cosine of 45 degrees minus cosine of 30 degrees times the sine of 45 degrees. Yes? What if it's not like, what if you can't use that to get the cosine? What do you mean? Like, what if it's like 67? That's going to be something we'll talk about later. But for right now, everything is going to be used from there, for at least today's lesson. OK? Um, so now we just got to evaluate. And look at, remember, remember when I talked first introduced the unit circle? I said like doing the unit circle problems is like, just one little step, right? Yeah. So I mean, you guys can see we're doing four of these problems. Now, obviously, there are only two angles, so there shouldn't be that difficult. But sine of 30 degrees, so I just got to think 30 degrees. Um, 30 degrees, that's going to be 1 half. Cosine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of negative, or negative, um, or minus cosine of 30 degrees, which is going to be a square root of 3 over 2. And sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2. All right, so here comes in the multiple ways. Now, once you guys get to this point, you're basically, it's just asking you to simplify, right? I mean, because this is it, done. Like, really, this is like good. You did it, OK? Now we got to get, now we got to prepare ourselves for the multiple choice type questions, right? So, one way you might see a multiple choice question is, factoring out the square root of 2. Do you guys see how they both share a square root of 2? So some multiple choice might factor out the square root of 2. And that would be left with a 1 half minus the square root of 3 over 2. Okay. Some might actually multiply this straight through. So you have square root of 2 over um, 4 minus the square root of 6 over 4 which obviously if they have the same denominators, we could just rewrite this as, um, this would probably be written as square root of 2 minus the square root of 6 over 4. And then some, some might even just rewrite the 1 fourth, or take out a 1 fourth and have this as square root of 2 minus square root of 6. Like there's all these different variations, OK? My main goal when I'm checking this is that you guys can at least get to this point, all right? 
And my preferred method I'm okay with you guys doing is at least seeing it from this point. Um, but again, when I'm checking your answer, I'm looking for this. Okay, unless I ask you to simplify um, or in a position point, but I'm going to basically allow a lot of my simplifying to be done on the multiple choice questions. Okay, but do you guys see, I mean, really from here to here to here? Like, that's really like our steps for these problems. Okay? Um, so, what I'm just going to have you guys do is just kind of practice.